and welcome everybody to another Inmo Sun Production. Today I'm here with you with another Trails in the Sky, Legend of Heroes. Today, uh, we're going to continue. Last time we got arrested, and I don't remember what the last thing we actually did was. <laughs> Just remember we got arrested. Oh, oh I yeah, should go. Are, yeah. We are concurrently streaming and viewing different games at the same time. So, uh, and recording, rather. Yeah. So, before we get too far into it, let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Think you mean the elephant hunter in the room? Yes, so... Yeah. As, as unbiased so, as possible, as unbiased as possible, because we do at least want to somewhat stay unbiased on, on stream, at least, in the recording. Even though we're never unbiased on recording, but um, at least on stream. What are your thoughts? Okay, here are my thoughts. So, someone tried to bump off Donald Trump in the state of Pennsylvania. That's right, I'm going this way. Yes, they did. Now, here's the problem. Anybody who knows the history of presidential assassination attempts, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm biased in this particular respect, but... I happen to know for a fact that the few times that a Democrat has tried to kill a Republican, they usually have to do it from very close range. Has there ever been a attempt on a, on the other party before? Oh no, there have been attempts on the Democrat party. I can definitely tell you of one that succeeded. Okay. Yeah. The Kennedy assassination, Charlie. He was a Democrat. Oh, I did not know that, actually. Yes, John F. Kennedy was a very liberal politician. I did not know that at all, actually. That's news to me. At least for the time, he was considered quite liberal, yes. Okay. However, his assassination was probably not related to his office. More than likely, mm -hmm. it was related to his mob uh, affiliations. Uh, I can and, believe that. And, uh, I have a dead dinosaur, which is great. Okay. Oh, you got a dead dinosaur? We could just put him into my cup, because I'm a daddy source Rex, apparently, today. No. That's, what, that's literally what my cup says. It says, uh, daddy source like a normal daddy, but more awesome. Elizabeth got me this, uh, this, uh, cup, and I love it. Well, that's magical. It is to me. Uh, and she loves yeah. to see me use it, too. I do love this. But cup. here's... Here's the second part about this. Mm -hmm. Um. So, that being said about the track record of Democrats attempting to assassinate presidential candidates, the last couple of attempts on the life of Republicans did not actually work the way the Democrats thought. Okay. For instance the reagan assassination didn't actually stop him at all if anything it it made him more it, it, it made him go harder yeah yeah oh and the iguanodons are fighting just great good turn the anyway, ac down in my house because i'm fucking burning up for some reason yeah um so yeah Democrats, you should not be celebrating this. This was a brazen act of political violence, which I know most of the leftists nowadays are very in favor of political violence. It seems to be the zeitgeist of the emotionally disturbed at this point. Oh, let's take everyone's um, guns away. Oh, let's go kill all the other people that have guns. So let's, how are you going to kill yeah. people with all the guns? Yeah, yeah, that's oh, that's 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 part of the problem. But the other part is, you know, they're the ones who say globalize the intifada. They're the ones who say from the river to the sea. They're the ones who say eat the rich. Apparently, it never occurs to them that actual violence will occur if any of those ideas are followed through on, and they don't seem to understand that or the ramifications of what that means for our civilization. So, doesn't really surprise me in the slightest that such a rhetoric would actually produce someone who would try and shoot at the current Republican presidential candidate. Um, the other thing is, this will definitely strengthen him in the polls. Absolutely. I was going to turn everyone... streaming mode back on, but eh. 
What do you mean streaming mode back Or Discord so it stopped dinging me. Oh, oh I didn't get to read that last bubble. Oh well. Yeah. Estelle, uh, what do yeah. you mean it's not a pleasure trip? This is totally a pleasure trip. You've got your boy whore there and your adopted brother there. you got two boys to choose from. Sorry. Talk about trails in the sky. <laughs> this literally two uh, less than two sentences away from our discussion of someone trying to kill a presidential candidate. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm surprised you didn't say nothing about um about the people um I, I, I mentioned in the Discord chat. I didn't even see you mention anyone. Hold on. I mentioned three names. Let me see here. I think I, I think I spelled the third one correctly. And it's two people in the third one. Charlie, I'm not even seeing any names. Really? Yeah. I'm looking at the Discord chat. I'm not seeing anything. It's literally just your entire thing saying they missed the first shot. Here, where I just tagged. Go up there. Oh no, I saw all of that. Yeah, oh. but don't don't be don't be implicating people we know are jackasses. But we know that they are. Yeah, we know that they're liberal idiots, not that they're competent. Well, we know that they're not competent. That's the problem. What are you talking about? Of course they're competent, Charlie. No, I'm talking. I mean, for God's sakes, for all of my issues with Adam. He was not a bad guy. He was always very cordial to me. The problem was he was way too cordial to his friggin' corrupt ass friends who would come and destroy all of our shit. That's why I mentioned the, the second names. Well, the Honyos were assholes, but they're not terrorists. No, I, I know none of them really did it. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, no, this is a serious uh, statement here. Oh, no. We're, we're not going to muddy other people's names with this. Uh -uh. Now, if there was someone we could implicate professionally with this, we most certainly would. But we can't. Because the guy's dead. Um, you know? I say unfortunate because that means we can't question him. Yeah, this. yeah. But you gotta realize in the long history of Democrat-led political assassinations, yep. there's usually never any money involved. I either mean, either that or the it never gets transferred after the um, failed attempts. No, 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 Charlie. I, I mean, there's never any money involved because the people who did it weren't getting paid. See, I find that crazy. Why would you do something so drastic, knowing that that would very likely be the end of the, of your life as you know it? Whether whether you physically aren't breathing anymore, or you spend the rest of your life in a cell, or I'll know marked as someone who did such a crime, why would you not get paid to do it if you're going to do something that is absolutely going to ruin your life, guaranteed well, to ruin a, it? because no party official in the United States would knowingly take a meeting with one of these guys because they know what would happen. Yeah, but... It would immediately be a political sting. Mm -hmm. They'd be implicated and made a social pariah for the rest of their life. Yes, but that's when you get to the point of you hire somebody to hire somebody else to, say, hire the mafia to hire somebody else kind okay, of deal. Now, now, you see, here, here's the problem with that, Charlie. A, the mafia doesn't care about politics. They're after money. Yes, so you pay the mafia double the price, and then you have the mafia hand the money. Hand, not, not, not pay them, but hand over the payment money. To the last person. Look at that little dinghy. There's a little dinghy here, Alex. No, oh, it's a little dinghy. It is a little okay. dinghy. I'm texting that to Cassie. So here's the problem, though, Charlie. Mm hmm. See, let me run you through the last two attempts on a Republican. Well, actually, the last three. The first one that was successful was the John Wilkes Booth assassination on Lincoln. Yeah. Booth was a member of a uh, extremely secretive Southern supremacist society 
known as the Knights of the Golden Circle. Yeah. Um, and the Knights of the Golden Circle were, for lack of a better term, assholes. Alright. Yeah. Now. This little uh, thingy's on land. How the hell did this Archaeornithomimus get out of its exhibit? Um, fence it. I don't know how. Oh, uh, actually, let me check the stream health. Eh, we dropped some frames, but not um, enough. For I've example. got the analysis up on my left, watching it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um. So, the Booth assassination was done by a private individual who happened to be part of a large, extremely radical organization known as the Knights of the Golden Circle. Okay. And, as you know, he came up behind President Lincoln while he was alone in the Ford's theater, sh uh, shot him in the back of the head, jumped over the railing, f walked, went down a curtain, and on the stage yelled, Sick Semper Tyrannus. Uh, which was some sort of Latin phrase for the fate of all tyrants or something along those lines. Um... But he was acting alone. This was not a movement by the Knights of the Golden Circle. They had no involvement with it. I mean, these were the people who wanted to invade Mexico and were so disorganized, they organized three separate attempts, and none of them worked because they weren't even talking with one another really well. So, it wasn't great. Um, well... So, the Knights of the Golden Circle, why is there low health? Uh -huh. Why is the Sinoceripteryx dying from a lack of water? Why can I have shop from this guy? This is the most random ass person to buy shit from. He sells fish, that's why. Okay. Well, anyway. Oh, good. So, the cook is who I need to talk to. Yes. These guys were these guys were idiots. They didn't know what they were talking about, and they very easily lost. Now, the only reason that Lincoln actually died from the assassination attempt that we know now is because they accidentally pushed the bullet deeper. When trying to pull it out or something? Yes. Oh. Did not know that. Yeah. Lincoln did, would have actually potentially survived the bullet in his brain if it were not for the fact that the doctors, given their limited expertise at the time, pushed the bullet deeper into his head. Okay. Speaking of bullets, yeah. I love how the guy in the video that, that I watched earlier from, uh, from the attempt today... Um, it being uh, the 13th of July, um, just to have that on record, um, they emptied an entire clip and missed every yeah, bullet except for that he clipped one bullet, but other than that, he emptied the entire clip. I know one of the shots was the sniper team. At least one uh, shot was. Charlie? Yes? He shot a bystander. Did he actually hit someone else? Because I I hadn't I hadn't found that yet. I was wondering if he did. I figured he no, accidentally he, hit someone. He, he did hit someone else. Yes, we know for a fact he hit someone else because one of the bystanders were killed. Oh no, that's even worse. Yes. Yes, an innocent bystander was killed. But anyway. Yeah. So here was the second. Uh, here was the second attempt. Okay. This one was uh, during the age of the robber baron and big capitalism. Basically, what was going on was the most powerful men in America, and these were men, they weren't women. Mm -hmm. I know some people get annoyed by that fact, but they were. The... Uh, 
Vanderbelts, the Carnegies, the uh, at this point Vanderbilt was already out of the picture, but basically J.P. Morgan, Carnegie, and Rockefeller all basically got together and said, "Look, um, William Jennings Bryan is running on the campaign." Uh, to fuck us dry without even using any lube. And if he wins, we are not going to be able to make a single red dime. Yeah. Because he would have made prices so terribly difficult that it wouldn't have even been worth staying in business. They told their employees, look, if Brian wins, uh, don't even bother showing up to work. You won't have a job anymore. And what was the business again? Uh, Carnegie Steel, Standard Oil, J.P. Morgan Chase & Company. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you know those companies that are still definitely around today? Currently, yes. Yeah. Well, they're, they were saying that. If he wins... We're closing up shop. They poured millions and millions of dollars into their chosen Republican candidate. The candidate they chose was a man who um, was a very popular Republican. A little known Republican, actually, but he was popular for his very anti-government stance. Well, basically, he, uh, he effectively just won. But here was the key. The reason he won was because they basically bought as many votes as they could with their millions upon millions of dollars in advertising revenue and then their pressuring of their employees. Well, he got into the office and then all of a sudden a man whose name, I I'm not going to kid you, I cannot fucking remember. I can't remember his name worth hell. Um, basically, he came into his office and killed him. Well, here's the problem. See, remember how I said the robber barons or the captains of industry had basically picked their man to be the president, right? Uh -huh. And that was their man. They had done something kind of sneaky. What they had done was there was another popular Republican candidate that was running on a trust-busting campaign. Okay. His name was Teddy Roosevelt. Okay, I remember him because he took office afterwards, didn't he? Yes. He was the one who assumed the office of the president after he, the other guy was shot. That's right, because he, he's the only president that's got into office because of a death, right? I don't think he's the only one, but he was one of the most famous ones because the entire plan backfired. Didn't he also die in the tub <laughs> or something? No. No? Who was that one? Uh, no one died in the tub. Who was the one that couldn't have had the thing with the tub? That was William Howard Taft. Not at all who I thought that was going to be. Okay. William Howard Taft, the fattest president who got stuck in the tub. Okay. Okay, now that we've cleared Charlie's brain, fuck up. Oh no, it's still fucked now, up, don't worry. Yeah. So, what happened next was, um... Teddy, who the robber barons had basically placed in office as the VP to keep him from being president. That's Watergate, but, ain't it? No. 
No. What was Watergate then? Fucker, Watergate wasn't an assassination. No, it's a scandal. Yeah, it was a scandal, but that's not... No, Charlie, we're not even in the same era yet. Okay. Basically, they put Teddy Roosevelt in the VP chair to keep him from becoming the president, except it all backfired when... Da, 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 some moron decided he was going to kill the then president that they had picked. Meaning he got into office and immediately started attacking the big trusts. Knocking apart the Carnegie estates, hitting at JP Morgan's ankles, taking uh, Rockefeller's standard oil to the Supreme Court for trial. What's funny is the Rockefellers still own a lot of the country. Yeah, but that's for a different reason entirely. Turns yeah. out when you break up Standard Oil into a thousand different competing sub companies, the Rockefellers would just buy up all the different sub companies and have them compete amongst each other and make even more money. Yeah, I know. So, in other words, attempting to stop people from making money just gets them to make more money. Capitalism. Yes, it's a system that works because we know how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, I think I was yeah. born into the wrong family. I should have been born yeah. in the Rockefeller. It's Rockefeller, Charlie. Rockefeller. Yeah, I wanted them. I should have been born into the. To be honest, you would not have wanted to. Why? Well, Rockefeller's dad left him when he was very young. And they were extremely religiously conservative. And poor. But they're one of the most yeah. wealthiest families now, that's what I'm saying. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you were born into <laughs> Rockefeller's family, you would have had a real shitty home life growing up, and you would have had to have worked in an oil field. Like, that's within the last 20 years? No. I'm talking about Rockefeller's family. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about born, born as one of his grandchildren and, or great-grandchildren, whatever they are, like, in 1995. Okay, yeah. Well, whatever, Charlie. It don't matter, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, the next assassination attempt was on Reagan. Yeah. Reagan was not assassinated in office. Famously speaking, when Reagan left office, he, um, he actually grabbed a handful of peanuts from his office desk, wrote a note, and went out onto the White House lawn warning the squirrels that the incoming president had an aggressive dog. <laughs> what happened to him? Uh, what happened to Reagan was somebody walked up to him while he was shaking hands out in public and shot him. Point oh. blank. Yeah, but they missed and he survived. Yeah. He became much more popular after that. Because it turns out when you try and kill a presidential candidate, uh, they usually wind up winning the elections. Yeah. I mean, everyone thinks, well, they had a reason to get rid of them. wonder if that reason was to help us, because they, clearly the other people don't want to help us. Yeah. Anyway, so, <sighs> yep. now, now we're in the era of Watergate, and I can explain that stupid thing to you. Here's what happened. President Nixon decided it would be a good idea to send federal agents to break into the Watergate Hotel. The Watergate Hotel being the current Democratic National Headquarters. Basically, he told them to go break into effectively Joe Biden's house. That shouldn't be too hard. It's just a basement. Anyway. <laughs> I can feel the stupidity. Um, no, not coming from you, but coming from me. And I can feel your disappointment on it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so 
what happened then was that it was discovered that he was involved. Uh, there was a big public scandal. And he basically resigned in disgrace before they could try and impeach him. That was an example of a fair impeachment. Because he did wrong. He did what you weren't supposed to do as the president. And he faced charges. He, he was going to... He was going to be removed from office, possibly face jail time if he did not, you know, resign. Well, here's the thing. There was very clear evidence for that and an actual legal precedent. These last few rounds of impeachment, uh, not so much. Talk about what? Talk about the more current ones? Yeah, the more current. Yeah, that had, like, very little to no evidence of anything that's actually tangible. Well, there was plenty of evidence that he actually paid off Stormy Daniels. The problem is, what they were trying to get him with, it was beyond the statute of limitations and mm -hmm. isn't technically illegal. No, it's not. That's why I was saying anything that's tangible. Like, there was evidence that, that it happened, but he wasn't evidence breaking a law. Same time, yeah. having document records is a right for a president while in office to be able to do. Charlie, Charlie, uh, Char Char Charlie, that's already yes. been thrown out. I know that's already yeah, been thrown. I know because he, yeah, he had the rights. But that's what they keep bringing up on the news. Every time I hear no. anyone talking about us, what they no, bring Ch up. Charlie, Char they're not bringing it up anymore because presidential immunity. Exactly. Yeah. He's now immune from that. That was an official presidential act. He said he was declassifying documents. Uh -huh. He is now immune from persecution on that act, just as Joe Biden would be immune from any crimes he committed in office. Uh -huh. In a way, this is a good move for one reason. It gives us an opportunity to put the genie back in the bottle on the arresting past presidents thing. Because we don't want that to keep happening. Because it ain't good. I guess uh, define yeah. what you mean by arresting past presidents thing. Talk about where they're trying to charge him for things that happened while in office? Yes, exactly. We don't want that to keep happening. That's not a good thing. That's bad for all of us. Yeah. I feel like they're just about to push that even more now. No, they're not. I say that I really haven't heard anything about any more trials in a while either, or any more accusations. Oh, he's, he's, he's on some trials and he's in all that, but all that's being held till after the election at this point. Game's over. Ball game is over. The, the guy shot him. He is now God. You cannot touch him now. Uh, he is God. Don't say that because Louisiana and the universe will say, Hold my beer. No, I mean that quite literally. He is untouchable right now. Oh, I got quiet. Well, it's because I'm trying to focus on this damn T-Rex that broke the damn fence. Oh, is that how he got out? Well, yeah, of course it broke the damn fence, Charlie. It's a T-Rex. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, they have the intelligent traits. So even if they're perfectly happy, they're going to try and break the fence. Which makes no goddamn sense. we have been going for... Your stream's going 30 minutes, mine's going 28. 29 minutes. <laughs> okay. But... Anyway, I, the Watergate thing was an annoyance, and the next impeachment after that was um, Trump. Bill. Bill? Bill Clinton. I say, I did, see, I've, always, I've always been told that Trump was the second one. No. No. After the Watergate one, Clinton mm -hmm. was the next one. They were going to impeach him for having immoral infidelity while in the Oval Office. Mm -hmm. I remember that one. It, it's known as the Monica Lewinsky scandal. They sure don't talk about that very often, or at least I don't ever hear anything about it. Well, of course they don't say about anything about it anymore. Today's sexual standards are extremely liberal, 
And Monica Lewinsky has basically come forward and said, yeah, I gave him a damn blowjob. Yeah. Yeah, there was no big secret about it. And Everyone long- and their grandmother knew. Yeah, I mean, it's not a scandal anymore. We all know what happened. And we also kind of are on the fence as to whether or not he even could have been impeached over it. Because, technically speaking, it's it's not exactly against the law. <laughs> I mean, what? You gonna start arresting guys for getting a blowjob now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? That's funny. I'm laughing, but I'm also typing something and reading something all at the same time. Oh, I, I'm literally doing like five things, Alex. So for my viewers as well on my side, um, which I know this video will be up well after the stream, of course, because of um, scheduling. Well, not just latency yeah. because of scheduling, because uh, I think it will be like two weeks before this video actually goes up at this moment. Um, yeah, uh, I, I'm literally working on like five different things. bunch of different pages and a whole nother discord which if y'all I'm, I'm sure my viewers have heard a few boops that's uh, another discord going on with a few other things where then, are the, the other sinosaripterix in this exhibit well, see why is he over there all by himself i don't understand this so you know what cassie sure. said said to me earlier what she asked me when i when i was gonna uh, finally get some brain cells and i told her I told her, by the time I find one brain cell, you will have done been married three times and had two kids. And then even then, I might not have a brain cell. So you're saying she should divorce your ass? No. Not that. She likes to feel like she's smarter. And I said feel. She's not in the room with me, so I'm safe for now. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have done her to knife fly across this room. Gosh darn, how long is this? Okay, I'm, I'm asking myself how long is the damn fisherman going to talk, but I'm also going super fucking slow on it, because it's hard to listen and read at the same time for me. Oh, good. He's now finished. Now I can go hunt down the damn thieves and bandits. That's what I'm looking for. The thieves that robbed the city of Bose. Your stream is going, but yeah, it's going. Okay, I was about to say you're not moving the camera any, but I saw the I saw the train passing. Yeah, uh, Charlie, do you remember the thing you said about the knife? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit! You told her, didn't you? <laughs> Should I put the chair up against the door? Damn! Why would you tell her? Now she's gonna kill me. Why would? Won't- I tell her, Charlie, you're, you being violated with something sharp is quite regularly an aspect of comedy on our channel. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go uh, brace myself and uh, try and hide all the knives. I'll be back. Yeah. He's going to pull up his big girl panties, we know. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. <laughs> oh yeah always good when charlie gets bitten squarely in the ass by his hubris okay so we're making a second uh, exhibit over uh, a second creation lab over here to help produce more dinosaurs on mass so i'm thinking that's gonna be real good So, I'm thinking we should... 
All right, pudding is back. So, did she violate your spleen with a knife? No. Surprising. No. Oh, it's probably because she didn't see the text yet. No, she saw it. Oh, okay. You, you told her I said she was dumb? That's not at all what I said. Yes, you did. You said you, that she liked to act like she was smart. No, not act like. She, she, likes to, she likes to feel smarter than me sometimes. She likes to feel... That implies that she isn't. No, because she said she is. So, I just said okay. And that's what I said. You do understand that that also implies like she isn't, and that she will eventually stab you directly in the anus with a knife. I'm getting to that point anyway. I don't think she'll use a knife. I think she'll find something way more brutal. Like a medieval no. drill. No, she'd use a knife. But a knife is not torturous. She I would... don't understand why these Sinoceripterics can't figure out how to drink water. They are literally walking right next to a body of water, <laughs> refusing to drink, and slowly dying from lack of water. Is the water deep enough? Is it clean enough? Charlie, there's no clean water status here. It's just water. Okay, well, is it deep enough? It doesn't have to be deep. Um, These are very small animals, Charlie. Is there enough cover nearby for them to hide at the water's Charlie, edge? They don't. They don't need cover. Okay. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something. Where the fuck am I supposed to look now? Wrong button. Um. All right. So no time to lose. Witness name is Lloyd. Lloyd apparently witnessed a young man and woman heading out of out onto the path around midnight the girl was wearing a uniform from the royal academy so it was Jaz Jazette. yeah cause she was i'll be coming again they'll be coming t again tonight we'll reserve some rooms in order to keep watch for tonight okay so let's go into the inn do i have to pay i don't want to have to pay for more rooms i've already paid 80 mirror the rest I knew I was going to rest anyway. As part of the story, I wouldn't have paid 80 Mira earlier. Where's where's the damage done? Why is it... Oh. There's okay, nothing I, I can do. It's got to send the MBU to Medicaid. How did the animal get sprained? Oh, yeah. Sprained from attacking fences because it's too stupid to drink water! <laughs> Jesus! What'd you do? You, um, did, did, did you give this dinosaur part of my DNA? Shut up. What? Oh, for God's sakes. Mobile Vet Unit 3 cannot find root to death. Has the pathfinding in this game lost its damn mind? <laughs> Probably. Nothing can find its way to anything anymore. The Velociraptor can't find its way to the water. That's right next to it. <laughs> uh... Ooh, we just had a momentary drop off in stream quality oh dipping down again still on excellent on my side well i mean hey it's those little mo momentary drops i'm looking at we still haven't a hundred percent nailed down what's wrong yeah, i mean that's that's could be wi-fi instability since you are on wi-fi and wi-fi is an unstable source <sighs> Running a wire from your room to the room next to you is not hard. Uh, it is when we don't want the dog chewing on anything. It don't have to. Go right through the wall and straight up behind that cabinet up into the router. Charlie, it's... Charlie, we are not cutting holes in the wall to run wire. Well, you don't cut a hole. You send the 3 8 drill bit all the way through, run your wire, which fills the hole completely. Uh, put an end on it, plug into the round. The other half, you just leave a rolled up coil for you to move around your room as you wish. 
Uh, I'm sorry. When did this, the the Indoraptor get into the Spinosaur exhibit? <laughs> well, apparently, <laughs> one of the uh, the Indominuses decided they were going to go on a field trip into Spinosaur and Spinoraptor. Territory. How far away is that? Not very far. They're literally connected, but none of them have bothered to make the trip before. Is there so is thinking... there anything dividing them? No, I kept them in the same exhibit because I know that Velociraptors like uh, Spinoraptors and Spinoraptors uh, like Velociraptors and that, Domi uh, that Indominuses like Velociraptors. Okay. They just suddenly so, decided to intermingle, huh? Uh, well, basically, I, I had their exhibits connected for that re for that reason. However, I'm not liking the fact that the Spinoraptors are constantly fighting with the Spinosaurs. I see that. Yeah. Um. And you know they got shit like internal bleeding going on and really annoying and having to constantly trank those animals and take them over to the uh, MVU for staving. Yeah. I get to go fishing! I don't have a fishing pole. I, I, I will... How am I supposed to go fishing if you didn't give me a fishing pole, damn it? Am I supposed to go fishing? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? No, Charlie, you're supposed to be... On a fishing pole. Invading Poland. So that does me no good either. What am I supposed to be doing? It said something about possibly getting a bite. I want to fish. Oh, I can. Let's see. Start fishing, I want to fish. Oh, I gotta go find a fishing pot. I know where's a fishing pot. Just, just touched them. Just didn't let me take one. Uh, that's our room. There's no one in this room. One person in this room. Nope. Okay, so I need to start designing another new exhibit. That goes outside, uh, apparently. What's going in the new exhibit? Well, I'm thinking I'm going to be making some African dinosaurs. African? Yes, African, yes, African dinosaurs from Africa. Okay. So, I'm thinking Nigersaur from Nigeria would be a good one to start with. So let me, let me find Nigersaurus. I got a progressive fishing pole. Not aggressive, progressive. Now I can save money on my car insurance. I I'm waiting so, for the backlash. Um, yeah. So we're going... So we're going to be putting uh, Charlie's home address in the description here. Any donations of anthrax and C4 you can make to him will greatly be of assistance. And now the FBI and CIA will be watching the entire stream and video. And we will be encouraging Cassie and Elizabeth to not check the mail themselves from this point forward. So go ahead and <laughs> yeah, uh, Charlie. All right. What shall we do with you? So serious question. What? Fishing on a pier. So my options are west around the pier, south where the sun hits the water, or east where the shade reaches. What should I, have I choose? No idea. Well, when fishing, what is what? What would you think? Where would the fish be? The fish would probably be in the shade. Okay, I was actually afraid you was about to say in the water. <laughs> well, I mean, I know they're in the 
I was really afraid you was about to say that after I asked. I'm like, oh shit. I'm not going to get a useful answer. Uh, mm. Use a lord, use live bait, or use a fly. Live bait, clearly. I'm going fishing. So we have the Niger Sores, we have the Kentra Sores. We should get the Oranosaurus, too. Uh, let's do random. Alright, how should I bring it in? Reel it in all at once? Wait a bit before reeling it in. Wait until it gets tired before reeling it in. Uh, wait right a bit. In all at once. Well, sometimes that works, and sometimes you want them to actually grab that hook. Before you start reeling, which I've done. Works great. Hey, I got a rainbow trout. Continue fishing. Okay, we've released Don't the. Don't change my spot. Nice. Oh, look at him. They're like. They're like ducks with four legs. Look at those wide, flat-billed heads. Ooh, God, they got some reverb. Fish one more time. I did not want to change spots. I'm going to go... I really wanted to go straight forward, but okay. Use a lore this time. Let's see what I got. Another smelt. Yes, but... All right, go prank the animal that has organ trauma, so we can, so we can treat it again, because it won't stop attacking the spinosaurs, because it's a turd. Yeah, the more carnivores we release into the park, the more fights happen. The more carnivores make more fights? Or her did I read did I hear yeah. that right? Okay. Carnivores, yeah. The herbivores don't fight much. If they do, it's just because they're in an exhibit with an with a species they're incompatible with. Okay. Like, if you put a whole bunch of um, Sinoceratopses in the same exhibit as um, Tribes, they'll kill each other. Ah. Okay, so uh, let's see what those Kentrosaurs like. They like ground fiber, too. Okay, so this is real easy. I'll just make more ground fiber, yeah. You're a ground fiber. Do you even know what ground fiber is? I assume it's fiber in the ground. <laughs> no. Um, low, low, uh, low standing bushes or something? Maybe? Um, it's like a bunch of ferns. 
Yeah, yeah. Low, uh, low ground bushes. No, no, not the same. Not the same. See, ferns are very different from bushes, Charlie. Oh, yeah. I ferns guess technically they are. are. Well, yeah, yeah. Because when it comes to diet, form is a lot more important than, you know, it just being a plant. Okay. Um, when it comes to diet, basically those long stems with a whole bunch of tiny leaves coming off of it at each side that's exactly what sauropods would have eaten it would have it would have bitten the whole stalk and stripped the leaves right off for them leaving the main stem behind well if you tried a normal bush with them they wouldn't be able to eat as much yeah, because the bush would have all of its stuff up high. Or higher. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Another injury? Berg? Huh? As a damage... Damage to... Earth. Uh, we got a comment. All it says is Berg, and I, I don't understand. And my stream is still live, so. Yeah. Welcome, um, viewer, by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, it doesn't say Berg, Charlie. What's that say, then? It's a, it says Berry. I see B U R. I see a G. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a smudge. Yeah, that that is a yeah. That's a G. I'm sorry. There was a smudge on my monitor. That's, uh, that is clearly a G on my side. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have our nice kentrosaurs. Yeah, we have our Kentrosaurs, we have the Nigerosaurs. Let's see what the Oranosaurs... Okay, so they want ground fruit. You're okay, fruit. so let me... Will you shut the fuck up? Never. Uh, hold on, I need oh, I'm, to I'm grab... Sorry, what was that? Um, hold was on, that hold on. I'm about to no. send something... No, I'm about to send something to someone. Well, I, I can... Just about, you know, hit the mute button and make you shut up. I'm trying to remember, remember how I'm to get one... to the stream. I'm initiated this call, motherfucker. No, don't hang up on me. Yeah. Oh, here come the Uranosaurs. That means I would have to, uh. Pie. That means I, I would have to, uh, uh. Be funny on your own? Yes, I guess. I don't know. Well, we both well, know that was never going to happen. Why, why does the string never show up on my phone? I have to go all the way to the stupid email, go to the email, pull it up, then it will load the damn YouTube page because I won't just show up. I'm going to sit here and bitch about it and listen to myself for a second, copy the link, and then, um... Run away, little Spino Raptor. You're not going to win this fight. Yep, little Spino Raptor once again has to learn the hard way that it's not going to win the fight against the Spinosaurus. Yeah. Just didn't learn its fucking lesson. Spinosaurus big and strong, Spino Raptors not so much. I'm trying to think the word I want to use. I need to mute my phone before I go crazy. Um. there okay that, let's that might bring in one or two other viewers here in the next second or two i cannot see the current uh viewer count because of how i have my monitor set up right now uh six views zero concurrent viewers oh 
I'm going to just slide it over a little bit so I can see my concurrent viewers. Slide it like that. Yep. And a little bit more. Okay, then. So now I need to figure out some other dinosaurs that were found in Africa. So let me, um, let me come look at the Jurassic World database. Now, I know Acrocanthosaur was found in, uh, Atoka County, Oklahoma. What the hell? Acro isn't from Africa. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, what about Amargosaur? Uh, La Amarga. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, uh, Did I lose you? Yeah, that's in South okay, America. There you so you got real quiet for a second. Let's see here. Ankylosaurs, North American. Apatosaurs, North American. Archaeornithomimus is North American. I know Carcharodontosaur. Yeah. Uh, teeth at the continental. Algeria, yes. That would be Africa. But I can't put that in there. No. That's not fun. Hey! Because Joshua's it, yeah. playing a harmonica. I forgot he plays the harmonica in this game. Yeah, um, let's see here. I really wish you would let me drive the boat. That would be so fun to get to drive the little dinghy. I could just feel your disappointment. Covered Colorado. Charlie, I'm trying to read here. I don't care okay. about the little dinghy. We'll find it. Um, let's see. Serratus. Uh, I know that Carnotaur was from Argentina. <laughs> Ceratosaurus, Colorado, um, hmm. Chasmosaur, pretty sure. Ooh, wait, wait, what about Concavenator? I just realized he plays the theme song, like the, the, um, the sad song that plays whenever, uh, your father disappears on his harmonica every time he plays. Hmm, interesting. No, that's Spain. Um... Dimetrodon? Texas, wow. Hmm. What about Dreadnoughtus? Cerro Fortales Formation. Hold on. Let's let's do some research there. Welcome viewer. I see our viewer count went up by one. Welcome. Nope, Cerro Fortales, that is a South American formation. So, no. Uh, let's see here. Well, Gigantoraptor, I'm almost positive, is Chinese. Well, actually, let me double check. Uh, thigh bone. Yeah, Irin Debasu formation in Mongolia. Yep. I just. Uh, I just now remembered one of the guys in the chat that I sent the link to. I don't believe he could hear. Oh. I just remembered that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Let's see. I don't know if our subtitles work. I've never checked our subtitles. South American. Um, let's see. Lystrosaur. No. Uh, Minmi is Australian. Matriacanthosaur we couldn't put in there. What about Moros Intrepidus? Nope. That's from Utah. Um. Wish they had a better filter system, huh? Well, I guess they probably do, but it's by con by country, not by continent, is it? No. No, it's um. 
Oh, this one's from G Germany. Oh, okay. Uh, no, it's it's by classification, like theropods, herbivores, yeah. aquatic dinosaurs, flying dinosaurs, that sort of thing. Hmm. Um, Mongolia, Pachyrhinosaurus, I'm pretty sure. Alberta, yeah. Um, hmm. Soropeltis? Montana. Hmm. Sejisaurus, Shonisaurus, Sinoceripteryx, Spinoceratops. Hey, Styracosaur! Alberta, Canada. God damn it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's the last of the dinosaurs. We are out. Yeah, Werosaurus is... Yeah, um, Chinese. No big surprise there. So yeah, no, we are out of species that we could honestly put in that exhibit. Wait, wait. what about Stiggy Moloch? Nope, Stiggy Moloch's Texas. God dang it. As usual. I thought I ordered the NBU to go treat that guy. Okay, so it is. Um, yeah, I guess the African dinosaur exhibit's just going to be home to three species, and for some odd reason, one of them's not comfortable, because it hasn't expanded its territory enough. I was about to ask where would they hide an airliner, but I've already found the airliner. That's why I got arrested in the game. Because I found the airliner as the military showed up and found me in the airliner. Uh, oh. Apparently, an Indominus has found its way back into the... Um... Spinosaurus exhibit and is threatening the Spinoraptors, as usual. And the Spinoraptors, being what they are, are refusing to back down. And now he's broken off combat and is making an escape while he still can. <sighs> Those spinosaurs and, and spinoraptors and indominuses is running around where they aren't supposed to be, being problems. Why can't they be more like my Rexes, all alone? Oh right, because I was stupid and put them all together because I wanted to be artsy about it. I feel like, I feel like I am Wildcat. Yeah, you're just wild. Charlie, you don't even get that fucking reference. I don't have to get a reference to be stupid. You're absolutely right, you don't. But in order to avoid being bashed in the face with a brick, you are. Ooh, I got the book, A Hundred Days of War. Can I actually read this book? Is this an actual readable item? Books. Hundreds of War! I can fucking read the book! It's ten minutes. Is long. And you're illiterate. Yes, I am. Uh, I'll read it another day, unless you know. Do you know the book 100 Days of War? Of course not. It's not a real book. Okay, I feel like there's probably a book somewhere called 100 Days of War. But you know what else I feel like? I feel like it's the end of my episode. Till then, I hope everybody has enjoyed this, and we will see you in the next one.
Bye.